I'm Anjali. And I'm the Incredible Kid, and you're watching PDX, PDX Pick. Pick. What's up, Portland? Sage here. I'm with DJ Anjali and the kid, the incredible kid. The incredible kid. The incredible kid. I have so many questions for you guys. Um, kind of want to start with a little bit of the background, how you got into DJing in the first place. Here, you start because you <laughs> started DJing first. And then I'll... I had a ton of records. Um, I had tons of music. I had no thought at all that I would ever play mm -hmm. dance music for anybody. But friends of mine were throwing house parties and they were like, why don't you come and play and I was like okay and then I kind of caught the bug and then she came to some of those parties and was like all these DJs suck and I could do a lot better and so she asked me like hey could I get on the decks yeah and I'm not somebody that thinks you learn to DJ by practicing for 200 hours in your basement I think you have to get out in front of people and it's much more about interacting with the crowd mm -hmm. and learning how to read crowds so I invited a DJ a party she showed up I was like hey can I take a quick bathroom break and she got on the decks, I came back from the bathroom, the floor was filled, and that was almost 13 years ago now. 13 years ago. Where was this at? North Portland. North Portland. Yeah. I mean, he just told you the story of how I first started DJing, but yeah. I studied dance like in, in high school and college and, and post-college. I studied classical Indian dance and I did ballet and modern, so I always approached DJing from a dancer's perspective yeah. and that's why I wanted to DJ because I figured I have really good taste like I know what's good to dance to and that's kind of how I got involved I mean I was I'm also a record collector and a music collector um, but it wasn't that I I don't have like the technical approach like I have a more of a emotional like yeah can you feel the song approach which I guess it served me well. <laughs> I don't know. So for someone who's never come to one of your guys' shows, what do you want them to leave with? What do you what do you want them to feel? What kind of emotion do you want them coming back again or you want them they're mind blown? What do you guys what are your goals? All those things, yeah. All those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, we want people to like if I mean a lot of people tell us, I don't really like DJs, but I really like you guys or yeah. I don't even go out that much anymore. But a couple times a year, I make sure to come to your parties. Like, that's what we want. We want people who, um, who love the music. Doesn't matter where you're from. Doesn't matter if you understand the lyrics. It's like people come and have. We want people to come and have a good time. Should people come if they don't know how to dance or yes. is dancing? Yeah, they can learn necessary. how to dance at our <laughs> night. They can learn how to let go. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I DJ the music. I love the music. I worship yeah. the music. I listen to it all the time. My dancing ability is minimal, nil. Um, but we we want people to let go, to get crazy, to have the time of their life, and it's very rewarding to us. Um, just this last month at our party, people were coming up to us saying, is that might have been the best night of my life, you know? And we love that sort of feedback. Yeah. We've been doing this for 11 years now. Um, this specific party on Daz, which is our Bunger and Bollywood party now every last Saturday at the Star Theater. And that, that this party in particular has had such longevity because the energy is so infectious. Mm -hmm. And if you look at, there are very few parties in Portland that have lasted as long as ours have. And those parties are all based around music that people know intimately and they're very familiar with, whether it's an 80s party or a soul party, something like that. We're the only party that's lasted that long that's playing music that most people that come have never heard before. And we think it's because the energy is so intense and the vibe is so amazing that people keep coming back month after month, year after yeah. year. And if people want to check you guys out, where should they go? Where's the best place? Um, right here at the Star Theater. We're here every month, the mm -hmm. last Saturday of every month, except September. We're doing the last Friday because there was just a little glitch um, in our new new schedule. But um, you can hear us on the radio every Tuesday night on KBU 90.7 FM, 10 to midnight. And we're at Holocene second Saturdays, but every other month. So the next one's September 14th, and the next one's like November, whatever the second Saturday in November. Um. And if there's something <laughs> that we forgot, you can go to our website. <laughs> <laughs> Anjali and the kid dot com. A N J A L I and the kid dot com. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, or all those fun places. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Portland with PDX Pick, Anjali and the Kid. Thank you. <laughs>